Hey, how is going everyone? In this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about SED, okay? The Stream Editor uh, software, which is actually pretty old. It was created in the 70s, so it's super old, but still very, very useful. useful. Still today, really. I'm going to show you how ca you can easily fix a text which is uh, which presents some uh, misses some characters or you have the the wrong characters now i show you everything all right i found some subtitles on internet sidekeist movie the italian subtitles because i'm italian okay so i'm going to cut them so i'm going to show you the problem where the problem is I'm gonna actually to pipe less also. All right, the problem is that, actually you can see the problem at the first line, okay? The problem is that this, okay, this character, which has the accent on the right side, let's say, should be, in, re in fact, should be on the other side, okay? And this is, you pronounce E, while this one is a okay so and this is very important character because it's the verb to be at the third person singular a spirituality a spiritualita è, spirituality is okay so there are a lot of the, this character because you know it's the to the the verb to be at the third person so it's full of these characters as you can see here 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 i mean and they are all wrong and this file by the way it's huge i mean it's something that you just can't modify with with your hand all right manually let's say it's it's impossible forget about it really all right we can actually uh, modify it using set. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, to do so, basically I want to type S slash, S stands for search, I think. Then the character that I want to, to that it's present, it's, it's there on, this, in the, on the text, which is this A, Okay, with this accent, and the card that I want to replace, actually, this character I want to replace with this character here, which is E. Okay, and then I want to put another slash and G. So G means that it applies to all the lines, not just the first, but every line. And then I want to close. Okay, actually, right now I'm not writing anything to the, to the actual file. But everything it will 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 just be out outputted here, okay. And then I want to grab the correct uh, character. So as you can see right now, everything is correct. This is the verb to be the third person, as I said. So all the the entire file has been corrected in just seconds something that you will need uh yeah an hour minimum to to correct it manually you know using a text editor but there is a problem the problem is that uh this character here the one that i replaced it's not there i mean everything got uh replaced but the other the other accent but there is a problem like this one okay per perché which is because or why it should be on the other side actually i'm from north italy so i'll pronounce wrong but it should be like on the other side the accent and also for some other words that yeah you can see here all these sh should be in the other side and also here so everything that ends with k okay this is not c this k in italian okay it's like a k so this will be dopo di k and how is it written? It's topo di che, which is wrong. So, but luckily, everything ends with ch and the e. 
okay so for me it's easy to just uh, replace that because I need a dash E and dash E here because I can simply select K and I will change with K Oop. and then I'm going to put a G and put this guy here and just put a space here so everything is it's easy to read. All right. Now, as you can see, all all these characters they are now correct. So per K, which I don't know, I we don't we don't pronounce it in North Italy like that, but we write like this. Gran K, okay. Per K or per K as I pronounce it. Dopo di K, affinché. So these are all correct. So now I have E as it should be here, so the third person is Kernel Tremenzogna, that is another lie, means, in Italian. This is correct, but also I have all the other stuff, all the other, sorry, all the other words that are corrected. So now I have both the accent at the, the correct side, okay? But there is another problem, it's not finished here, that Okay, there is this C, okay, that should be on the other side right now. Se stesso, this one means himself, okay. And sh this character should be on the other side, but also we have like Mose, which is correct as it's written like, like this, which is Moses, by the way, Mose, okay. So I will have to change this one but leaving this one correct, okay? Because this is correct, while this is not correct. Okay, to do so, I'm going to add another line here, another option. Okay, so S, and then I want to put a space here. Okay, and then G. Oh, I want to preserve this space this space so what does it happen that it actually it it looks for space and then this character so it will uh, it, it won't touch mose okay it won't touch moses that's great so we just try it okay as you can see now i grabbed uh, se as you can see now i have just moses Mose, which is, this is correct. And if I grab on the other side, there is no Moses here. There is no Mose, but there is just se, di per se. Okay, se stesso on itself. Right now, a feature. this is neutral. In Italian, it's masculine. As you can see now, I have se correct for this one and se correct for Mose, for Moses. Now, that's great, but there is... <laughs> another character that I need to to change which is ne which should be ne but actually now it's ne okay as you can see here this character should be on the other side okay now it's ne and should be ne it means uh, weather weather or like that okay to do so I'm gonna add another line again and I'm going to put s then ne with ne and then our g as usual okay so right now if I grab ne there is nothing because everything has been changed so I will try to grab the other side and this is correct, you know, right now it's correct. But as you can see here, this is capitalized, okay? And uh, it didn't get replaced, the capitalized one, because it was looking for a non-capitalized character right here. So it changed 
all, all the other, but this one I still need to change. Actually, I can change them if I add uh, another uh, another uh, option here, which is the capitalized E or uh, yeah, uh, I, yes, yeah, the I, <laughs> okay. That's how it sounds in English. But the problem is there, I lose the capitalization here. So right now it's up to you. You can, yeah, if you do this, it's going to replace also this one, but you're going to lose the capitalization. I think you, I think there is another option here that you can uh, preserve the capitalization, but I have no idea how to do that. So maybe there is another option. So what you can do here, you can then, you can do like this and then add another option. Okay, but I won't do this. I will just add the other option straight away, which is S and then I will add, as you can see here, it's ne alla stampa neither to this to the press which means a lot to the okay that's it and then i want to add actually i don't need this ah, it's enough as you can see here it got corrected right now it's corrected and that's it. I can recheck everything, and then I'm going to actually write the 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 text because now it's still the original. But I, I want to apply all those all those uh, options, you know. So first of all, I want to check. Eh, this is all perfect. It's mi è sembrato okay. This is perfect, you know. This is also Choe, it's correct as it is. Oop. So, okay, everything is perfect. Now, let's check the other one. Okay, perché, per affinché, that's perfect. Ne, se stesso, that's everything is perfect. Also here, you know, the accent are just as they should be. Let me check Mose. Okay, there is no mosi, but there is the correct mose. Perfect. And that's it. Now I can write them. Actually, to write them, you just need to put a... You can either write as they are like now. So just put like this and re... And type another file name, for example. But here in this case, I'm going to add another bracket, another pipe, sorry, here. And then I want to put set and I want to write dash E, dash I, sorry. Dash I basically uh, write the, the, actual, uh, the actual file. So if I do this, no input file, all right. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm going to skip this and just going to write like this. Uh, fix it. Dot it. Dot SRT. That's it. Now if I cat the new file, as you can see, here is correct. You can see here. Perché è. Okay, and now it's correct. That's it. So you still, in this way, you still have the original file and the, the correct file. So you can still manage to correct some other stuff. Po, this is correct. <laughs> All right, that's it. I hope it was helpful. I write down another time the, the command is set. And then s slash whatever you need slash whatever you want to be, and then g to apply to every line, okay, of your file. If you have more options, just use the dash e 
option. That's it, variable. That's it, hope it was helpful and I'll see you on the next video guys. Bye bye.